So we're here. We're, what he actually wants to say, uh, Banana Man, no Banana Man podcast. Oh. Uh, we've been watching too much television. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 We're trying to get a little too me. diverse here. <laughs> Y'all are <be> wild, bro. <laughs> the Sanchez got, all right, sorry, this guy, Sanchez, got the hat on. No, nah, man, talk, talk freely, bro. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, I don't know. Well, first and foremost, we should. Welcome back to the, what's the name of the company? Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel, bro. Pumpernickel. He called it Pumpernickel on the way out here. Yeah, the last time we were here, and I didn't know entirely how to feel about it. And I'm starting to question it. Not the more I think about it. But, because I question this so much, you might be, maybe should be called a Pumpernickel podcast. Because, I don't know, what the hell does that even mean? You just said that came out the side of your head, dude. Yeah. You like, like, I woke up. Like, I was thinking about the podcast when I woke up one morning, and I was like, man, what are we going to name this shit? And then just Pumpernickel just came that to my head. That makes sense. We dark, and we get bread, nigga. <laughs> Dude, I wish I got bread. You got bread, bro. Stop playing. Well, no, I mean. That it hat you, makes you look like uh, Billy Bob from the Joffy. <laughs> 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 Mr. Woodbrook, really on Paris? No, no. You, uh, the, the one I was thinking of was uh, uh, Billy Bob, Joe Bob Harris from a pup named Scooby-Doo. Holy shit, that's a deep cut. <laughs> Today's podcast will be named a pop named Scooby Doo. <laughs> Clearly. Well, are we going to talk about the real issue at hand? Are right, we going to talk about greed? Yes. Yeah. Today's just... letter is the letter G for greed. We're not going alphabetically, we're not going numerically, we're just going off of what we feel like. Yeah. Yeah, today's letter is G for greed. Now, let us begin with greed. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. So these two foul dudes will tell you about. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. You about, these two monsters will tell you about. Greed. Okay, so I brought it up earlier, right? We were talking, uh-huh. and I said that I'm just tired of like you going to school as kids. You know, elementary school, middle school. Uh-huh. They're always telling teachers, telling you like, "Yo, you should find your hobbies and what interests you, and you know, so study, and that that becomes your job, and you're gonna love it." Uh-huh. No, the key, the key reality to life is you need fucking money. And the earlier they tell you that shit, the better. Like, instead I, of fucking following my dream, how about, like, make money? Because then later on, you can follow your dreams when you have enough money. Alright, I'll, I'll give you the sense that we don't get taught money in school like that. Like, and especially if you're not somebody who's worth a lot of money, or your family comes from money, you don't understand money like that. So I totally yeah. agree there. Because, like, I, uh, I, growing up, like, I didn't understand, I, I mean, like, I knew the value of a dollar, like, Okay, you know, I need money in order to buy shit. Right. But, like, no one told me how expensive college was. Mm-hmm. No one told me that if I wanted uh, to, like, have a, you know, have a car, like, have a house, like, have all of the shit that people expect you to have when you become an adult, you're gonna need a, you're gonna need to earn a lot of fucking money. And in order to do that, you're gonna have to work your ass off. And it's just like, all right, well, you know, I'm just out here, like, going to school, you know, making good grades, whatever. But, like, I would have been I would have been aiming for something a little bit more lucrative if I had known that money is what made the world go around. Yeah. Yeah, like, like you always knew, but, like... Yeah, like, no one stressed it. It wasn't like, oh, like, you... Like, things don't work out. Like, you, you know... Right, right, right. I agree, I agree with that part. Like, there's a thought in your head that, like, you think that shit will just work out. Yeah, you know, know, I can sell balloons for a living and be okay. <laughs> okay. All right, take a look. <laughs> All right, take a little over there. Take a little over here, something balloons. Look, man, when you six, you think you can do it. I mean, when you six, you look <laughs> like 14, 15. I expect more logic than I can sell balloons. On the Niggas, I was thinking about being six when I said that, bro. Dude, you I, know what I, I thought? thought? I don't want to think about college when I was six. I was thinking about how much is this airhead going to cost me. Exactly. exactly. You know what job I wanted when I was six? What? I wanted to be a boy. Did you? I wanted to be a lawyer. You know why? You were born ass nigga. No, no, you know why? <laughs> because right. I knew that lawyers had money. You have you get to wear expensive shoes, True. expensive suits. But if you and then like, as I grew older, I was like, I'm just getting greedier. Right. Yeah. 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 You want to base your whole life on what profession earned you the most money, which is, I mean, which I guess isn't all that typical. In but retrospect, I yeah. probably would have, I should have made those decisions. But at the same time, <laughs> being a lawyer is a lot of reading and a lot of additional work, like. Yeah, it's just like it depends on what type of lawyer you true, are. But it's like being a doctor, where it's like, yeah, it makes a lot of money, but at the end of the day, you have to be a doctor all day. Yeah, like you either love that idea or you hate that idea. Yeah, because there's no off switch when you're a doctor. Yeah, right. You can get called in, depending on what you, you can get called in for whatever. Yeah, so you can work like 
24 hour shifts and then it's just like, oh hey, I know you were in the middle of your 30 minute nap, but we right. need you before open heart surgery. I've got 30 minutes of sleep and I've got 24 hours of work between <laughs> like, literally, because it's not like you can sit at your computer and chill as a, as a you know, like, like you sit in the back room somewhere on Reddit as a doctor. It's like you gotta go do actual work with people on people. It's, like, it's a lot harder to do when you run over 30 minutes of gas. Yeah. It's like, I'm gonna do this all day. I, I don't know, though. I don't know. Like, I, I think that, I, if, in retrospect, if I could redo everything or undo everything, I think I would have taken that part, I agree with y'all, more seriously, where it's like, you have to sit there and kind of plan because you, and it, I think we got caught in a bad time, too. Like, our generation is a tough generation in that we thought we'd get away with the same stuff our parents got away with. Yeah. But then, like, the world changed in that process. The world changed as we were growing up. Right, so right. That, as that way we, we, that when we became adults, it was just like, JK, yeah. you're fucked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything that you thought you could do, you couldn't do. And so it's like, oh, well, I played myself. You yeah, no more $60,000 starting chemistry salaries anymore. Right. Oh, yeah, that sucks for you, bro. Yeah, yeah I, I probably would have went into computer science oh, had really? I known... Yeah, yeah I wish I would have been a good. Uh, yeah, as I look back on it, because I mean, I graduated what I think would would argue is a fairly decent career, but it's like I would probably go back and do comp side. Yeah, I, I mean, like I mean, I knew technology was the way when I was in high school, but like I didn't know what like I didn't know that programming was like the truth in the way. Uh, you also went to Columbia, so <laughs> in all fairness, I didn't. Yeah, know, I'm cool. surprised you knew what anything was. But yeah, I mean, yeah, man, that school was foul. <laughs> that school was foul. It was, bro. Like, man, we had we had police searches on Halloween. We had uh, we had re- not like rent a cops either. We had real, actual like, like we'll throw your ass in jail, cops. Damn. I, like the last day of school, weird. just to make sure no no bullshit popped off. Like, they weren't playing no fucking games, man. Bro, y'all. Oh, bro. school was extra foul. I yeah. thought I thought I'd see some foul school until I heard about the nightmare. But I got friends who went to Columbia. Shout out to Eric and shout out to Sulu, who both went. If I remember right, they went to Columbia. And I also met some a girl, uh, Kimmy. What was her name? Kimmy Bo. What was her name? Like Asian girl. Kimiko. It was Kimiko. Yeah, it was Kimiko. 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 Yeah. There it is. Dang, how did we know? Nigga, that? I went to Columbia, nigga. You knew a girl named Kimiko? Yes. Really? Yes. She was Filipino. Uh, probably. Yeah, look at that. Dude, what? Girl, what the place, bro. Because you're a year older than me. And she was my year so older. She was was a year. This podcast is pretty good. <laughs> Fuck him, Sanchez. He's 25, now he thinks he's just stunningly younger than everybody. Bro, I'm the youngest in the group. <laughs> yeah, you're the youngest. You're the youngest in years, but you're the oldest mentally, bro. Cause you go, you be going through it in your room, <laughs> talking about your hip and your, your back and your, all this other stuff, bro. You got Benjamin Button disorder, bro. I don't know what's going on, with bro. You. Like you, you talk like a sixty-year-old, bro. Like for yeah. real, dude. Cause you, cause you go through so much, man. You, like you know, I personally heard you say, "I am getting old. I'm too old for this." Yeah, because of that at twenty-five. Cause I can't go drinking like I could at twenty-one, man. Yeah, because you don't drink that much anymore. It's not necessarily because your body doesn't anyway, like. I sometimes you gotta have a midlife crisis early. So you knew Kim- uh, Kamiko. I mean, like we weren't friends or anything. But, but you like, see her in the hallway. Yeah, like she's a nerd, nerd. Like, no, like I, she I, killed I, people though. That's bro, like, shot when y'all, when y'all were movie. guessing her name, I've heard her name enough times that I I knew how to pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she, yeah, she, <laughs> she, she was very intelligent and she was very capable. Even at, like at, at, when we were at school together, she went to UGA. But it's like, um, I, yeah. I know, I know if, we, if, if me and her had a conversation, we have, we, we know people. Was she, was she older than me? Uh-huh. I think she might have been a year older than me. I put, I put her in the same age as you. I, I thought she was the same age as me too, but I think she is a year older than me. I think she I mean, was there a semester before, before I was. Yeah, so I think that you and her were in the same class. You might be, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she's cool people. Uh, she's cool people all together. But yeah, her, Eric. Eric before, which was like two years after you, and then Salusa, he was in soccer. Um, I think he was in soccer at Columbia. If he wasn't in soccer at Columbia, he was a soccer beast for somebody else, that's for certain. But anyway, those two as well went there, bro. And they were there. Eric is currently still 
I think it's school. PhD in it. Huh? Yeah, I think it's PhD in it. Good, good. It's it's good to know that I wasn't the only one. There's blood, yeah, the yeah. Trust me, there's black excellence that came out of this. Salou, shout out to Salou and Eric. There's there's other black excellence that. And I mean, Andrew, and I think uh, was it uh, Camille? Uh, Chris Tucker went to that school too. Chris Tucker went to Columbia. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's wild. Like that school is filth, but like. Every I mean, you gotta be a like, certain type of person to get out of it, you know? You like, do. Yeah, like, like it's, but it's like the whole from Batman. <laughs> this is a house. This is a house. <laughs> you know what it takes to get out of the pits? Like, you yeah. can't be weak when you leave the pits, bro. You, you can't. Gotta, you, when you make it out, you a diamond. Yeah. 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 And just yeah. a little location for all those listeners that aren't in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Oh, true. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're not talking about the Ivy League Columbia. We're not just throwing shade at other like, I think they got that from the context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, never yeah. know, but you know, you, you, you don't, you don't call the Ivy League school filth. That's true, yeah. <laughs> you do if you go to Harvard. Columbia you know, got a D. They're in the, the same, second grade. Like, they're, they're the same way. Like you know how all those guys are, like the, oh. the wealthy. But they all, they all throw shade at each other's like university. Yeah, right, right, right. There's, there's a difference well, between like I went to Brown. Uh, yeah, there's a difference between, between like Dartmouth. There's a difference Dartmouth. between like upper level throwing shade and like bottom of the bin throwing shade. Cause it's My like, man said bottom of the bin. It was like, oh man, like what do I look like? I went to Harvard? Ooh. And it's just like, no, nah, no, nah, the school is like disgusting. It's the only school that could really say that. I think MIT might be the only school that could really say that about Harvard. Because I've heard that said. <laughs> like for people who are at MIT is like MIT got a MIT got a science program. <laughs> like that's the way they talk about MIT like science and mathematics. Damn. Like, yeah, that's like yeah. a little brother like Yeah, yeah. exactly. Bruh, MIT art Harvard to MIT is like Georgia State to Tech. <laughs> it's <just> like <laughs> y'all got a what program? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice and all that you guys show up on the Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Of course, like, you're in Dublin. Yeah, look at your little program. <laughs> look at you with your five students and your one teacher. You're teaching everything. You got a janitor teacher, man? Okay. <laughs> Let's see how far that gets you. Yeah, they talk reckless. I imagine at least they talk reckless about Harvard and the rest of it. But where is that? My Massachusetts Institute yeah, Massachusetts of Technology. Yeah, they are up there. So they treat Harvard that same. I guess Harvard really is their liberal arts version. Yeah. yeah, that's simply order, brother. Yeah, because, uh... What do you need to get in the heart of Don't you like a 780 out of 800 in the math section to get in the... Nigga, I don't fucking know. I didn't go to my team. I knew a kid from Lucas Priest High School that got in the MIT. And he did. He did it. I, I hear that. He, I he hear transferred. He transferred. He, he, transferred. Yeah. he, he couldn't hang I don't, I don't know if he couldn't hang or he just just like Yeah, it. I hear people like, up here that just, they have, like, this highest suicide rate. He, uh, he transferred over to Harvard. Yeah, exactly, and he and he lived the life at Harvard. He prospered. Yeah, yeah, because I hear once you get it, the hardest part of Harvard I've heard, uh, at least I mean, of course I've never been, but the hardest part of Harvard I've heard is getting into Harvard. Oh yeah, no, like once you're in, you, it's it's like working for the federal government. Right, it's like right. Once you like getting in is fucking dumb. Yeah. Once you're in, it's just like all right, cool. Like you're fucking sure, here. Yeah, because uh, I hear like the A A minus, I think A or A minus is like the norm. At Harvard. Yeah, catch up my T's $14.5 billion endowment. Right. But then you look at Harvard. But yeah, Harvard is $36 billion. Right, because Harvard, Harvard gives free tuition to students whose families make under 65 k Or more, it's more than that. Yeah, they're, they're ridiculous. Yeah, it's like 130, yeah. 170 or something like that. If your family makes under that, you go to Harvard for free. This is crazy. Yeah, because they bank on like intelligent people making them more money, which and is all their connected cool. people to keep making. Well, yeah, money. yeah, because because who graduates from Harvard? Poli- political people, business people, like people who will generate enough wealth to then give back to the university. Yeah. Who all graduated? Like, what is his name? Zuckerberg was a Harvard. Well, he was a Harvard dropout, wasn't he? Yeah. Same as Bill, uh, Bill Gates. Bill Gates was a Harvard dropout. Or you end up with a. Uh... The bullshit like what happened to me earlier where I got a call from my quote unquote school's alumni association. Oh yeah. It's just like Your y'all school don't exist my school don't exist no more. Y'all trying to get money from me? Get the fuck out of here. Bro, you get you have to give a check to schools of past. <laughs> <laughs> you got a school that does not exist anymore. Y'all trying to give me to fund my school's funeral, man. Get out of here. Yeah, it's like let's quit with this. It man, that's, that's fucked up, man. Like, I went to a bum-ass fucking high school, and then, like, I graduated from college, and my college don't exist no more. Like, <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good run, though. It was a good run, man. It really was. 
Damn, man, school two is no longer a school. I mean, I guess Kansas State is even better than Kansas State. That's no, man. Like, you don't like the sun. No, nah, nigga, not at all. You don't like the sun at all. Because Kennesaw was our flunk out school, bro. That's true. It was like, oh, Every school got a flunk out. It's school. like, you can't handle SPSU, go to Kennesaw. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's true. You can balance out, you can balance out being successful with partying with bitches for a little bit. <laughs> don't go back to Kennesaw State. You, you, I, nigga, that's all it was. Mike, I was like, Mike went to Kennesaw State. That's nice, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mike was there for the first two years. Yeah, and then he left. True. <laughs> That's not a place you succeed, bro. Oh, I don't say that. Uh, don't say that at all. That's foul. Bro, what's with you? Cruz Asociados? Yeah, Warriors. Avogados. Bro, that commercial's crazy. Sorry, we watch the TV at the same time we're doing this podcast. <laughs> I'm looking at the commercials as I go, and the commercials are insane. And in case you're wondering what we're watching, we got Telemundo on mute in the background. Right, Telemundo commercials are insanity. You division. Oh, my bad. Univision. Univision. The superior of the Latino channel. Ricardo Arjona. Yeah, he's got great lyrics. Sorry, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Back to the podcast. Yeah, dude, look, right now, I'm, I'm at the crossroads right now where I'm running this last year on this contract. Yeah, you are. Uh, are you going to go on full time? No, I don't want to do it. They've already offered me like three times. I've turned them down three times. Really? Now, they've offered you full time three times? You yeah. said no? Yep. Oh, so what are you going to do? You going to go school? What? Look, man, you make decisions in life. You just go go with it. True. Right. I guess. I mean, yeah, are you going to like, like I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, I'm looking at the NBA, I don't know, man, I'm trying to figure this shit out. I know. I want more bread than what yeah. I got right now. You got, but you got less than a year to make You said the NBA, NBA, not the NBA, the NBA. I was like, <laughs> hey, the NBA! <laughs> oh, man! Yeah, I was going to be a sports agent. I was like, you know how stupid this dunk game will be? Dude, I don't, yeah, I don't even. You'd be a good doctor <laughs> on the NBA. <laughs> Bruh. But after after I got my giggle out, I was gonna make that same joke. Oh, the, the good doctor. <laughs> you gonna be the good doctor in the NBA? I can't imagine. And he seemed like a three point type of dude. Like you just be in the back sinking shots. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, halfway on his phone. Yeah. Scrolling through Twitter. Yeah. You in the back sinking, and he and he'll sit the court. Looking shot. at thoughts on Instagram. Like, oh, don't do that. That's me. That's half my free time. I woke up in the morning this morning and immediately turned on Instagram to look at inspiration, quote unquote. Inspiration. Yeah. I'm, I'm here for the plot. In my head, it's like, should I? <laughs> I'm here for the plot. Should I focus on an MBA or should I get a PhD? You shouldn't do an MBA because the people who get MBA say that you shouldn't focus on an MBA. From what I heard. So it's like, it de- I mean, it depends on what you, uh, I, like, honestly, it really depends on what you're trying to do, like, career-wise. True. Because there's some jobs that, like, don't give a fuck. It's just like, if you got the experience, we don't give a fuck. Mm. So it's just like, you know. It depends on what you want to do. Because, like, yeah. you say an MBA, but then it's like, what do you want to do? Because I, I, as someone who has, has gone back to school after getting out originally, that shit blows as an adult. Right, <laughs> you actually have responsibilities. School yeah, that sucks. That shit fucking blows. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one thing when like everybody that you know is also in school because you're right, kind of right, working right. on the same schedule. It's just like, all right, I got class, you got class. And it's just like, all right, cool, we're done with class, let's go party. We can, you all kind of in sync on the same schedule. But right. then like when you are an adult with responsibilities, it's just like all your friends are just like, hey, let's go out and drink and have a good time. It's like, I got a fucking paper I got to write. Well, that's such to be you. We're gonna go out and have a good time. Right, we're gonna go out and anyway. <laughs> <laughs> go send you up. pictures. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you gonna follow that friend. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I agree with that. Like, it, it's tough to go back to school after you've already been out of it. And I, and I swore up and down when I was in college that I would go do my doctorate. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, I'll do it in something. Like, yeah. No, because it's it's not a game. Any, like, the first undergrad is a game, quote unquote, in that. You can do around and still be fine. Yeah, I, you could ask me. Me and Nate had, I think Nate and I had like a 3 6 GPA in engineering, and he and I never studied. Like, we were spending more, and Eddie and Mike were the same way. They're not studying. They'd be in their room just digging out, and then it's like 3 6 three, six, three seven GPA, just doing nothing. It's easy to undergrad, to get out of undergrad just like it was in high school, but then well, grad see, is like grad is serious because grad sometimes you get pulled in as a TA well see that's the thing I think about you know because it yeah. wasn't like you said it wasn't that difficult and then in my head I'm like 
I'm not gonna go sit here through five years of a PhD program, some type of natural science, physics, right. or chemistry, and get paid jack shit. Right. Because that's, that's, that's the job that's gonna end up because I'm yeah. gonna seventy thousand or sixty-five thousand. Yeah, because it's five years of it'd be four or five years of not. It's opportunity cost. It's four or five years of yeah, I may be in school and I'm everything is quote unquote covered, but that's five years of people making money. You know what I mean? Like, and that's not being cocky. And it's just like, if you could do theoretically the same thing, like the argument, I'm not saying that college shouldn't be an option or shouldn't be the first choice. Is that people need to quickly realize in this new world that op- that college isn't the only choice. Yeah. Like you have options. You could like, go yeah. to a trade school. You go to some other type of institution. You yeah. Don't have and to like, just do one. for real though, like go to fucking trade school. Cause like, it, like yeah. when you're young, like trade school paid, Trade school pays butt cheeks, but they still pay you. But, like, when you're young, you can survive off butt cheeks. That's you true. know, and then it's just like, okay, like, and then once you become, like, a, an actual tradesman, that shit, you, you rake in buku dollars because there's only a handful of y'all niggas out there. Yeah, and there's less and less. There's less and less. Yeah, less what's less that? Less. That's called oh, like, uh, the yeah. job gap, or what is that? What, there's a term for it. It's like the job gap, it's, the wage That's not the wage gap. It's like... Well, there's an oversaturation of people with, like, bachelor's degrees, but no real skills. You know? Right, right. People yeah. with no actual skill for a job. And there's an oversaturation of people who have graduated degrees that are really, honestly, useless. Like, what? no disrespect yeah. to the lit degrees or the English degrees or whatever, but it's just like, what does that do? Yeah, see, the only reason I considered an MBA was because I want to just do more, like, more statistical analysis than what I already do. But the, the, and that's mostly just because of my fascination with the game. Yo, but do you even need? <laughs> do you even need a? Uh, yeah, do you even need class for that? I mean, like you could buy a couple right. books to teach yourself. You could buy like one or two. Well, oh, see, that's the thing. Like, should I do that? Should I just get another job in chemistry and then keep my hobbies on the side? Or you that's should just keep it on your side. You should probably learn this independently and add it to your rep and then apply for jobs that way. But don't go back to school for a, for an MBA. Like, unless you're doing network, heavy networking in the job. But then, like, if you're doing an MBA, I mean, it's you do a part-time, I think, but it's just, like... I think, because the MBA is basically just the networking of the Yeah, you're supposed to be networking and figuring out the next move, but you could do that now. You have a degree in chemistry. There's no reason why you can't figure out the rest of it, you know? Yeah. I mean, maybe not sales, because unless you've got experience with sales in some way. Because sales is different. Like, you got to learn how to be a salesman, you know? Yeah. Like you can't well, just yeah. like and it's not really you can learn in school like the proper quote unquote way to be a seven, but not the beats literally getting out there and meeting people. Yeah, yeah. but I mean like say, being being a salesman, like it's it's really all just about like understanding who you're talking to and figuring out what they want to hear. Like mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's more psychology than anything else. True. I, I partially agree with that, but I also hear that sales, because even when I was learning it, and even when for the short time that I was working at BBC, not what you think it is, but BBC, the... <laughs> yeah, not, not, not the international... <laughs> hey, look, you're still innocent. That's not the BBC I was doing. <laughs> but uh, not, I was working for that for, for like a couple of months. It's like... 90% of it is about learning. Because, like, you have, as a salesman, you have to be comfortable. What is the clock has turned into? But I ain't expecting to be no NPR discussion. <laughs> I was like, where's the pump? I mean, like, <laughs> last, last, what is going on? Last time, not last week, last last episode with more, more random shit. This one, we, we kind of started. You try to sit down with some education? No, no, I wasn't sitting down with education. I was just trying to give it a chance <laughs> to stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> As the as the as the Dude, I remember, the more you know. I remember going to the BBC thing and like they were gonna offer me the job. Yeah, I saw him walk in. I was in the office when he walked in, and he was just like, "Nah." <laughs> and because everything yeah. went well too. Like I showed up. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I, was, I, I answered the questions and like, and then I sat there and I was like, "No thanks." No thanks. <laughs> this is terrible. What? And that was my inspiration for leaving. Cause like two months later, I was, uh, not even two months, like a week or two Bro, later, I walked, the, oh, yeah, I walked to the office and I was just like, I'm done, I don't know what to do next. <laughs> and they were just confused, they never, they were like, we never really have somebody to sit here done. And I was like, well, right, y'all have a good one. Yeah. And I just left, and that was the last time I dealt with it. It was just like, all right. Like, I almost worked at Chick-fil-A at uh, one point. You don't belong at Chick-fil-A, <laughs> but you're for, you're for slightly too evil for <laughs> Brother, you were of a you hearty people, nigger. You ever see that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you, you ever see that episode of Spongebob? Yeah. When, he's, when he's making like, he's, he's competing against King Neptune. Yeah. Like, the best hamburgers. He's yeah. making like a thousand burgers. 
Depois nós vamos ver The Pickles e Guns of Smiley Pants. Yeah. Talk to me. Eat a burger. Eat a burger. You don't have that soul. Yeah, you don't have that soul. You don't, you're not tucking in this chicken like that. You're not a my pleasure kind of nigga. Like, you, you're just not, bro. Like, there's no way Chips Lil is without it. You a hardy or a checker. Bro, bro. Yeah, you're a tea of crystals, dude. Fuck all of them. Because, okay, bro, bro, I'm sure no, I'm so many policies go fuck your slave. <laughs> Like, no, man, it's gotta be written into the code. That we're just like, man, if somebody asks you as Crystal Pickle, tell them this is Crystal. Exactly. So, yeah, <laughs> it, it gives you the perfect excuse for top back. <laughs> you right. You're just gonna be reckless with Crustman and Crystal or White Castle. You're gonna get asked for Crystal, can I get it dirty? No, it's already dirty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I still get that to go? <laughs> right. You ask for too much, then this is Crystal. <laughs> What are you, bro? First off, let's break off a quick, a very smooth tangent. Who the fuck ordered extra crystals, brother? You're like, who ordered a specialty crystal? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like who makes, hey, somebody does it. How much of a loser at life do you have to be to get a specialty crystal? Like, nah, man, that's... Can I get lettuce and tomato on a crystal? <laughs> bro, you know how mad I be? I'm working the fat and I gotta make 70,000 things and I got a special audience. You're getting spit. In that person specifically. First and foremost, I can see the nigga that pops a day off with a filet uh, fish and a black cup. First off, a black filet fish. Yeah. Oh, this is a podcast that talks about this. Nah, if you're yeah. having a filet fish breakfast, promoted, like, you're done. Uh, yeah. they, they should call it filet or fish. Go, also, go ahead. Uh, there's also, Crystal also serves breakfast, so if you're one of them niggas. Oh my <laughs> god, he's right you there. Can, you so Bro, I saw that menu. It's not that you that's not cool. Dude, I'd rather be at the strip club at twelve on a Wednesday oh. than go to the the go on a Tuesday. <laughs> then go have on a Monday. Oh. Then go get oh. fucking Christmas oh breakfast. God. You just should bro, you talk about chips that don't look right. <laughs> a strip club at twelve o'clock noon on a Monday has gotta be the epicenter of not what's up with the strip club. <laughs> No, but I was talking to Mike. That's gotta day. be men's night. Where's the dudes on stage <laughs> dancing around with jean shorts on? Men's afternoon. Men's oh, dude, oh my god, men get in free. You still pay too much. Dude, we were at the liquor store Monday. Uh-huh. This past Monday, White Mike, and uh, it was empty. Em- nobody there oh, on Monday. Monday? No, on a Monday at like 6 o'clock. And I was like, you know what, this is bro, nice. We're in Buford, dog. There's no way I'm This is nice. Dude, dude, it was empty, bro. We're in there. No one, they didn't even fucking. Oh, oh. Yeah, it was empty. <laughs> <laughs> But they were empty. They were empty. They were empty. And uh, it was nice. I was able to go around, peruse all the liquors, all the beers to my heart's content. No one one bothered me around. No like weird creep, you know, staring at you or no salesman trying to pitch you. Like who was that guy that was like giving you all the information on Belgian, Belgian beers and like the four quads and the. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you, bro. I don't know what's going on right now. (laughs) <laughs> Are you distracted by the fucking Charmin Bears? Yeah, man. I, we should really turn this TV off while we're making the podcast. I kind of zoned out on you for a Hey, man, second. Charmin isn't that soft. I'm just, I'm just letting it Hold on, hold on. We ain't gonna deal with this right now. My man said Charmin Ultra A saw. I'm not saying it's not soft. It's like an angel's kiss on your butt. Nah, nah. Are you kidding? What's better than Charmin Ultra? A warm shower, maybe, is the only thing that really compares. Like, a warm shower is pulled out. Um, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just anything. We got some, we got some baller-ass cotton up. Uh, Y'all got cotton nail at the office? Yeah. That's official. Yeah. Bro, our office definitely got 8 by 11 <laughs> <laughs> That's what you the favorite. That's, bro, that shit was so nice. I put one of the janitors to the side. I was like, what is this? <laughs> wow, that's official. I got to get this for my home. Bro, I'm sure when I wiped, that shit gave me hemorrhoids. Like, <laughs> my butt was like, Mm-mm, don't ever take the dump here at the office again. Look what you done did. Was that, was that the toilet paper? Was that just Randy Thacker existing? Bro, don't realize, bro. What if he hears the podcast? I, now I gotta deal with Nigga, you dirty. No, bro, like, bro, ain't nothing. All right, let's, again, another 10. <laughs> let's discuss humans that leave the bathroom without washing their hands, bro. <laughs> That's the next level of tier of disgusting. Because it's not just about whether or not you got feces on your ass. Like, nobody's necessarily arguing that point. It's the. Is the fact that, like, it's one of the few opportunities during the day where you get to just wash your hands. Yeah. 
Like, you're touching the keyboard all day. You're doing all this other stuff all day. you got all this weird stuff going on. Or, like, all the stuff that you touch make contact with bacteria. It's like, you need to thoroughly clean your hands because of that. Yeah. And people just want to Let's not ignore the fact that you just came into a bathroom, one of the pla- one of the nastiest places on, on in, in existence, because this is where niggas, like, relieve themselves. Right. And you came in, you unbuckled your pants, Drop them all the way down to your fucking cowboy boots. Bare ass it on the fucking pause. <laughs> nah. Oh, okay. Bare ass it on the fucking toilet. Exploded oh, okay. that shit. Fucking got up. <laughs> Pulled your pants back up. <laughs> Flushed the toilet and this smooth one outside. Side note of the side note. Who's bare ass it down these streets? <laughs> like, who is who is bare ass it out these streets, bro? Do you sit on the toilet bowl? Eduardo, you see a toilet bowl with no toilet paper on it? Oh, here in my in my apartment, yes. Yeah, even then, Dude, I, don't I know. avoid public public restrooms. Do you? If I only go to a public restroom to take a piss, if right. I'm gonna take a shit, I'm holding it. I'm gonna keep. I know, it. I know, I know, I know it's, I know it's I not took to help. I'm gonna go for the best buy today. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I'm taking a, if I am forced because I got the runs. Uh huh. I I put the endos. I had <laughs> that shit down. Excuse me. Oh, you padded the toilet. I down. padded down with oh, like yeah, a whole yeah, bunch yeah. of. Yeah. There's a nice layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of fucking I toilet paper, paper layer down. Yeah. Between my ass and that there shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there, yeah. There's certain places like if, if you gotta go in public, there's certain places that are like acceptable for you to go. Because I think the best place is good. Best place yeah, is good. Yeah, best place. You think so? But then I walked into the back and it looked like a technical bathroom. <laughs> oh oh <laughs> shit! I was like, bro, is this not a is this not a respectable establishment? Chick Fil A is one of the places where you can nah, go into the bathroom. Sure, yeah. It's fine. Even the bathroom yeah. says "God bless you" when you walk out. <laughs> Cause they, you know they, they clean them shit like a little time in there. Yeah, de- oh definitely. The mints to go. There's a dude uh, with free mints in the front. It's like, yeah. Chick Fil A is very efficient when it comes to bad. At least as far as I can tell. Yeah. Uh, uh, like Whole Foods is another one of the places. Yeah. Whole Foods, yeah. Whole Foods yeah. stay with a nice bathroom. Whole, Whole Foods stays. They even got the foot thing. Well, you don't have to open the door by the handle. You yeah, put the top yeah, of your foot yeah. in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, and pull the door back with that. It's yeah. See, that's just well, money, right? Yeah, but I mean, that's like the funny thing is that that's not an expensive addition. Like a lot yeah. of companies, you do that for like thirty bucks or less. Yeah, yeah, you right. can just add that to the bottom of it because that thing can't be more than like fifty dollars. You know what I mean? And yeah. the installation got to take ten yeah, seconds. I mean, like you, you can find one of the things like Home Depot and it's all that shit yourself. Yeah, like there's no reason why every establishment shouldn't have that. But for well, some I mean, reason, like it depends on whether your door opens in or out. But like e- either way, like true, because if it opens out, it's purposeless. Yeah, the same sense, it's just like you could. But yeah, man, it's all, I avoid the public restroom. I try to, but every now and then you get the bubble guts and the next thing you know, you yeah, ass out. Sometimes you're forced. Literally, yeah. It is literally. disgusting. Sometimes you gotta do the squat. I never, you I gotta, never had to do a squat. You gotta squat it, man. Because I don't squat. No, I have done a squat before, but this is like, you gotta watch out for that back. It's like a knock on wood. Back splash. <laughs> no, you oh, always yeah. flush first. You flush twice. At least. Yeah, once for the bulk and again for the remainder. Well, before you before you drop yeah, so that if there is any splash, but you know you're sending a ton of bacteria into the air around you, right? That's fine. And when you when you flush that toilet, you you get like a uh, a Yellowstone geyser of bacteria <laughs> hitting you in the bottom of the face. Let that one ride. <laughs> that should be the podcast. You get hit with feces, right? It's better than that Eagles fan that was eating shit, horse shit. Wait, what? Did you not see the video? Uh uh-uh. Man, those Philly fans, like, they, they are happy, they are excited, they they fucking rioted, they enjoyed the night, they enjoyed the Super Bowl dub. One guy went so far as to eat horse droppings on the ground. And they and they got it on they got it on like fucking That's Instagram, amazing. they got it on Twitter, everywhere, viral video. How do you how, how do you feel, right? Let's say you wake up the next day. You're, uh-huh. the, you're this guy who just ate shit, horse shit off the fucking ground, right? Oh, you're fucking you were not in your right mind when that happened. Oh, oh I'm sure you was blitzed. Right. I mean, he, he had, had to have been blitzed. To toast, right? Yeah, but like, let's say you wake up the next morning, what hits you? And first? you're blowing up on Twitter, <laughs> right? Wait, you wake up. You wake up. Like, what if? Do you wake up? I, I'm imagining the smell still there. Like, you get blasted by the smell, right? You're like, man, something smells a little wrong, right? Like, you gotta. You gotta say, oh. You go around, like, is there a taste in your mouth? Is there, is there an aftertaste? Oh, God. Or did you brush your teeth? What if, yeah, even worse, you went and got more alcohol. Yeah, what if you go into your bathroom and it smells weird? And you're just like, what's that? 
Next thing you know, you're watching videos of yourself. You're black out, bro. You're oh watching videos of yourself God. eating more shit. How do you feel? How do I feel? I, I fucking like, bark right I there. Like, that's easy. I fucking bark right there. You are what you eat, man. Like, I feel like school. <laughs> it's, it's, it's time to check out for black guys. Like, man, it's time for a rope and a, <laughs> and a chair, bro. It's time to be a fresh life. Sorry, guys. Like, it's, it's been a good run. You would be praised, nigga. I'm in religion, but I'm talking back to somebody who doesn't need to eat. Because, first of all, like, back is a bunch of first of all, the world knows that this happened. Second of all, that's true. all of your friends know that this is a thing yeah. now. How and you, you just, you can't live that down. How do you find a, a mate? How do you find love in your life no. when they know you are consumed? You better have already found them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and they better really love. That's that's yeah. a test of real love. Yeah, that's that's till yeah. death do us part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You gotta marry whoever that is. Cause they're just like, look, I found that you eat feces on the ground, and I'm still like, you know what? I'll kiss you. What? Oh, when you gonna show me the video? Don't do this. Oh my god! I don't want to watch a nigga eat feces. Like, first of all, I don't give a fuck how blessed I am. He picked up on the ground. He ate it fresh from the source. <laughs> oh my god! Bro, don't show me this. Bro, he ate a feces casserole straight off the he ground. He ate a horse pie off the ground. Nah, man, it's time to call it quits. Give up. Like, I don't give a fuck how blessed you are. How how excited do you gotta be that you don't eat easy, dog? What? I don't know, man. This is next level, and it scares me. I mean, I know y'all ain't never won the Super Bowl before, but y'all, y'all, if that's too far. Maybe he plays the bet and he stuck true to what he said. Like, if we win the Super Bowl, I'm going eat horse shit, and somebody was just like, no ball, you better eat horse shit. But he's the guy that eats horse poop, bro. Like, but yeah, but now you're forever branded as the dude who eats horse feces. Yeah, but saying. I mean, I, hopefully he also made another bet where it was like, if, if we win, I, I want, like, Seventeen billion dollars, but I also eat horse meat. What's the minimum amount of money you eat horse meat for, bro? And you don't have to eat like a bowl of it. You just got to take a a bite of it. Yeah, Yeah, you got to take a bite of horse meat. Ah! Ah! (laughs) Somebody clear your student bill bed out. Uh, you gonna you gonna need more zeros than that. You gonna need more zeros than that. You gonna need more zeros. If somebody than walked up today and was like, "I will clear your student loan debt out entirely." Nigga, I work for the federal bills. government. All right. Like, yeah, but after a couple years, that should take. Care that's of not a couple years. It's ten years. Bro. Yeah, that's still. That, I mean, like, I'm still. I'm relatively young. That should be all right. Yeah, I mean, maybe, but the same sense is like you just had like you watch me since you got like a bad week, but it's just like. Call out sick, that bad week's over, next thing you know, boom, your student loan debt's cleared. You wouldn't I mean, I guess it depends on Right, there it is. There's a sincerity, yeah. Yeah, I guess it depends on if that shit's gonna like be recorded and be uh be viral or not. Yeah, it is. Then not. There's there's no amount of money you can pay me for that shit. I'm too damn proud of the only answer is no. Y'all did the bugger, bro. I have a number. Everybody has a number. No, man. I Everybody I got a, I got has a number, number. For exactly. a lot of different things, but not that, like... To eat, to eat like, a table full of horse shit? I'd probably, like... If, if it wasn't for the fact that everybody else would know that it happened, I probably would. I, there'd probably be a number we could find where we could negotiate, but... If I knew that every... But, I mean, it's a viral video. People get over it in, like, less than a week. Yeah, but you'll like, be the you'll be the talk of the town for a week and a half, and the next thing you know, boom, you just faded like like Salt Bay was that nigga for like a solid month, and then now it's just like what? Well, bitches are still worshiping that nigga. I mean, people, some people still people jokingly like mock his movement and all that stuff, but it's it's not like he's the topic of discussion. Like it, that's what we live in the age. Yeah, you have yeah, every moment in the sun. Yeah, you, you got a moment in the sun, and then yeah, you'll be recorded having done it, but the wave is gone. People don't care anymore. Yeah, but I'm you still... You think people still looking up Leroy Jenkins videos from 10 years ago? It's like, nobody knows. You'll be all right. You just got to deal with that month of nonstop roasting from the squad. Nah, nah, nigga. Because I know my friends. My friends are foul. That, that's that's yeah. not going to be some, mm-hmm. oh, you got a, a week or so. Yeah, that's, we, got, we got people in our squad, quote unquote, that have dealt with feces in a different way. And we, we made the joke for the first month and then we forgot about it. No, I never forget. I mean, yeah, you remember. I don't bring it up because people are sensitive. Well, shout sure. out to the homie, quote unquote. <laughs> he knows who he is. Quote, he knows who he is, though. He, he knows for sure if he ever listens to this podcast. I mean, it's just, it's just funny. 
it is just sincerely funny, bro. I cracked up that whole day. But it lasted, like, like I said, it, it lasted less than a month. We were laughing about that for like two weeks and then it died down. Yeah. And then every now and then it comes back up as a joke. But it's yeah, just that's, like... That's the, that's, that's the thing. Like, man, you want to forget up. about it. It's just like, when it comes back you up, you it's like, that You want to just take the L, bro? I don't know, man. Uh, nah, I don't believe... Not, 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 I don't believe... There are other options. So in full circle, <laughs> we need more money. Yeah, so that we don't have to do the greedy things to get access to what it is I want. Yeah, and I guess that's that's that for this episode. The moral of the story, kids. I guess we're all rounding <laughs> back up to greed. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Get, so get greedy. Get yourself. Stop being greedy. Make that money. Alrighty, boys and girls, it's been another episode of the Pumper Nickel Podcast. Are we going to keep Bruh, this? we're going to keep this name. I don't, I don't like this name. <laughs> I don't know how to feel this name. What else could we call it, though? But that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm open to suggestions, but until then, it's Pumper Nickel. It's Pumper Nickel until we find a new one. <laughs> Caveman talk? I don't know what caveman talk. We have to do something a little bit more. Like I'm just, I'm just machismo. Um, I'm just spitballing here, you know. Let's move. We'll, we'll, we'll do some brainstorming. We'll come up with something better. <coughs> we'll figure something out better. We'll figure something out. Comfort a little too healthy, a little too. It just doesn't taste good, man. I had some. Bro, hold on, before you cut that button, bro. Pumpernickel's a good bread. No, no. Man, man, stop playing, bro. Nah, dude, fuck that. Man, you eat tortillas with peanut butter, bro. bro. I don't believe your taste in everything. Me. Give me some honey wheat bread before you give me pumpkin. Honey wheat bread is just cake. <laughs> Let's go. Give me a slice of cake. Yeah. Who wants to eat this nasty ass healthy pumpkin? Bro, no pumpkin don't gotta be this. Pumpkin is like a, not a Ezekiel bread. Like, <laughs> you know, like I gotta read Psalms every time I take a bite. Bro, you might. Might as well be eating that shit. Bruh, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a quick discussion before this podcast shuts off about Ezekiel bread. I don't want to leave this topic. That bread is disgusting, bro. <laughs> Ezekiel bread tastes like coasters. <laughs> I don't know how that thing qualifies as bread. It's like, oh, it's a true grain. No, it's not. It's a bunch of bean sprouts melted together as a transformer into bread. <laughs> what am I do with this? And it, it doesn't hold anything well. You know what I mean? It's like, maybe, maybe it holds peanut butter and jelly well. I don't remember exactly, but I do distinctly remember that flavor not Oh, uh, no, what's this bread? I didn't know what it was until so I looked it up. Yeah, no, I, I, now I, you know. Yes. Yeah, you, you, you know what it is, too. Yeah, you you know, yeah, you know what it is when you see it. It's like, I, I don't, I don't know if I, yeah. Yeah, it's that yeah. Bread. yeah. That shit trash. The hot move. Ezekiel bread sucks, bro. I'd rather have to reread the Bible from start to finish than have to eat this Ezekiel bread. You know what? I think I'll take some Ezekiel bread. You know what? Matter of fact, I'll take some Ezekiel bread. Yeah, I'll take some Ezekiel bread. All right, that's the end of the podcast. I made a terrible mistake in judgment. <laughs>